Man, this video I'm working on is kicking my ass. It's shaping up to be like three times the length I originally thought it would be. Uh, but anyway, this is a catacombs video, I guess. Today's catacombs is the Tombsward Catacombs, which you can get to by going straight south from the Church of Pilgrimage. This catacomb is full of obnoxious skeletons, so we're going to snag something that makes them easier to deal with. North of the Third Church of America, near the Spirit Spring, is a scarab that has the Sacred Blade Ash of War. This makes dead things stay dead when you kill them, so that you don't have to spend all of your time awkwardly swinging at the ground. Slap that on whatever weapon you please. It goes on everything except for whips, fists, and claws. I have a club, so on the club it goes. The item in there is a cookbook that lets you make rancor pots. That's not even really worth the stone sword key, unless you really want rancor pots for some reason. I'm gonna run past most of the skeletons and flowers, but Sacred Blade makes killing the skeletons very trivial. Uh, what's that on the floor there? Uh, no, nothing we should pay attention to, certainly. <coughs> if you avoid the fire here rather than turn off the pillar, all the skeletons will kill themselves, which is nice because one of them likes to huck firebombs at you from above if you stand there. Get the paint. Thank you. Drop the pillar, then ride it back up, and then all you gotta do is go pull the lever and fight the boss. Sacred Blade happens to also be a great tool for killing the boss, which is a cemetery shade. This is one of those enemies that'll read your attack animations and then teleport away to avoid them, but since the actual projectile comes out so much later than the animation starts, most of the time the shade just teleports and then gets hit by the flying blade. Collect your reward, the Lutel the Headless Spirit Ash. This is one of the best Spirit Ashes in the game, and probably the best one available this early on. All in all, this catacomb actually had some decent rewards considering it wasn't that obnoxious to run through. <laughs> 